Alright, so boom, gang, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name's Uta Beefs. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore Beefs underscore backup page. But just put underscore Beefs and it should pop up, man. Just look for my logo. So boom, gang. Before we get into anything, I want to say a big thank you to the boss man, Daniel, at Cruelly Surplus Store for letting me borrow this rifle to review. One thing I'm going to say, which I did not want to say again, this is actually a used rifle that's for sale at Surplus Store. I didn't want to tell you that because I do want this rifle again, especially this one stupid accurate you're gonna see in the groups later but yeah a new one ain't that much more than this so if one of you lot get it i don't mind you get me so boom gang let's get into the video now okay in every gang there is a man that'll bring that violence you don't post you don't snap you just move real quiet in every gang there is a man Again, let me show you what comes in the box. The box is empty, everything's out, it's just there. So boom, first thing I want to show you is the user's manual. I'm quite disappointed with FX because you don't know from the title already. This is a Dreamline, but it's a Sabre Tactical Elite. The one in this book is like, I think it's the Tactical. I don't know, but it's not the STLE, you get me? So, quite disappointed with that, man. Cause we need the specs on the rifle, you get me? So you get the user's manual. You get a probe, a full probe, but whoever had this before, they've actually put a best fittings quick connect on this, so it will just quick connect straight to your holes. You get me? It's a good thing still. So you got the probe, and then you get two 20 shot, 22 shot magazines. Decent. I ain't gonna lie though, again. Watch when you see the groups. These magazines, they were decent, but it's just like my effect, just like my impact to tell the truth. My, Magazine works perfect, you get me? But gang, these are the loose things that comes in the box. Let me get rid of the box now, and I'm gonna show you this Dreamline that should be mine, but could be yours. All right, then, so boom, gang. This is the Dreamline, the FX Dreamline ST Elite in 177. The ST stands for Sabre Tactical, Sabre Tactical. Obviously you can see the stock, the Arcarel, everything. So boom, let's just get into the rifle quickly, gang. So firstly, we're gonna start from the back, but gang, I've got to get details, so let me give you a lot of close up. Let me show you this back pad quickly. So firstly, it's fully rubbered. You look, can see all of these little things here. That's rubber. Decent. So you know it's going to be grippy in the shoulder. No slipping or anything. You get me? All right. First thing now. The top of the butt pad is adjustable. You look, can see this part here is spring operated. All you do is push it in and then you can move the butt pad to wherever feels comfy when you're shouldering, basically. At like this is sitting on your shoulder, so you ain't got to worry about the rear of the rifle being heavy, cause it will just sit on your shoulder, you get me? But yeah, this is the top of the butt pad. The bottom part now, let me come over here. You see there's some screws down here, gang, I'm going to loosen all of them because that's how you get everything to move. All right, then, so boom, the bottom of the back pad now, you got this. I don't know what you would call that, but you got this little thing here. 
Oh. What you do is you pull it down and then you can adjust the butt pad to how far in or how far out you would like it. You get me? Whatever feels comfy when you're shouldering, basically. All right, same with the cheek piece. It's adjustable too. Just gotta move that. You just gotta slide this and then you can raise it or lower it to wherever you want to, basically. All right, then these little holes here, these are for a sling. So if you go out in the wild hunting, you can attach a sling to the rifle and have it hanging on your shoulder while you're walking around, basically. All right, one more thing now. If you look and see here, there's a magnet here. There's also one here and there's a button here. You press the button, the stock closes. Get me, the magnets hold it closed as well. And to open it, just bang. And then obviously at the bottom of the stock now, you got the bag rider. If you got bag problems like what I had, this would be perfect for you, you get me? All right, and next, let's start from the top now. So boom, you've got a dovetail rail. No picatinny rails. You might can get an attachment for, that can convert it to a dovetail rail, to a picatinny rail. Moving down now, you got the cocking lever, gang. If you know about FX cocking levers, super smooth. That's it. The only thing with this one, I don't know where it comes so far back. Like, if the impact one probably comes up to about here. This one's like way back. And then, yeah, super smooth though. Obviously the cocking handle's a little skinny. Check sub 12 air gunners, get a chunky one. It'll, it'll feel way better, you get me? But yeah. Get the cocking lever, cocking handle's kind of skinny, and obviously you can decock it by holding back the lever. Oh, safety. Pressing the trigger, and then just riding it forward like that. So yeah, smooth, super smooth. All right, in front of that now, you've got the reg pressure gauge. This one's sitting on like 55 or something like that, 50 or 55. Um, let's move below that now. You've got safety, it's on fire now. It's an AR-15 style safety. So it's on fire, just flick it down and it's on safe, you're not shooting. I like that as well, smooth but it's clicky. You can hear that it's, into, it's gone into its position, you get me? All right, let's move down now. You got the two-stage adjustable match trigger. If you know about FX triggers as well, super smooth, super crisp. Get me, I do like this one. I need to get the impact one like this to tell the truth. I might have to do some tuning. All right, let's move down again. You've got the standard FX grips. I do not like these cars, they are super skinny. But you can change it, it is changeable. You just gotta put an Allen key up there, loosen the screw or take out the screw and you can put on another grip that's compatible with the rifle, you get me? Let's come to this side now, gang. All right, so boom, as you can see, you got two power adjusters. You got the front one, which is like low, medium, and high, and you got the rear one that goes up in numbers and letters. But I don't know. You have to let me know in the comments. Does the rear adjuster work? Being that this is a sub twelve air gun or UK legal sub twelve air gun, does the rear one work? I'm not sure, but yeah. Let's move to this side again. I forgot actually. If you're technical with the regulator, 
just in front of the reg, you've got the reg adjuster. So if you're technical, yeah, you can put it up to like 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I think my FX impacts on like 45, but I was watching sub 12 air gunners and they were saying like 100, 100 is probably like the best spot, but I'm not technical, I just shoot, you get me? So yeah, let's move forward now. And up to the top again. You've got a shroud which covers the barrel. And on the end of the shroud, it's half inch UNF threaded. So you can put on your favorite silencer or the one that keeps this quiet the best. And, under, and in the shroud now, you've got the barrel. The barrel is a 500 millimeter smooth twist X barrel. If you know about Smooth Twist X, I've got it in my Impact and my Wildcat. Super accurate barrels, I do like them, you get me? But let's move down again, I'm all sweating now. Let's move down. We've got the air tank. I'm not sure what CC it is, but I'll put it on the screen now. And it's a 230 bar max fill. Obviously it's regulated, because I was talking about the regulator. And on the front now, you got the fill port. You just spin this dust cover, it will reveal the hole, put your probe in there, gas them up, good to shoot. Look at here, I, don't, I forgot about this part. And obviously you got the barrel band. They say that it, it, it's, I don't get it, you know. Some people say it's not supposed to hold the barrel. It's just there. I don't get it, but a lot of people take them off. You get me? All right, so boom, let's move downwards now. As you look, can see under here, you've got the Arca rail. And it's got another accessory rail here on the side. I did arch jigs at surplus store what it's for but he did say but i didn't get him you get me but yeah you got accessory rail here on both sides you got the arc rail with the key mods so you can attach whatever accessories you've got and then on front of the arc rail now you've got a picatinny rail which the bipod is hanging on to now you get me so boom is there anything i missed out on I don't think so. So boom gang, let's get into the shooting. So watch this. I've done it already. You get me, sir? I know how accurate it is. Gang, let me just let you watch it. I'll see you when we get to the groups. Alright, so boom gang, let me give you the rundown quickly. So boom, I've got the Valiant Lynx 6 to 24 by 50. I've got the silencer that all of the FX rifles come with. I could have put the Donny FL or the Hug It at them, but I said, let's keep the FX, you get me? I've got sexy legs, the bipod off of my Wildcat. I think that's it. All right, so boom. I've got three dots down there at 50 yards. So we're gonna do three five shot groups. And I'm going to be using the 10.34 grains, but the first group, I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to load the, load the pellets into the rifle myself. Then I'm going to use a magazine. Then I've got some 8.44 grains over there. So I'm going to let you look, see how it shoots with the 8.44 grains. So let's get into it, gang. See how this rifle shoots. Look at that. I swear whoever had this rifle before did not clean the barrel when they got the rifle. Car, it took a lot. I was trying to get it spick and span clean, you get me? I didn't even like this. That's too dirty for me. But yeah, whoever had this thing did not clean it. 
But yeah, that's what I left it on now. So the barrel is super clean. Just need to put some pellets through it. All right, so boom, gang. Camera's down there rolling. See how I loaded it? This is what I'm gonna do for the five, for the first five shots. So camera's down there rolling. Let's do this. Alright, first shot. Like I said, the gun is just wobbling about, so you gotta make sure you hold that tight as well. Alright, so boom, gang, that's five. Five from the magazine now, gang. I'm gonna sweat, I don't care. So watch this, five shots at the second look, magazine. Gang, I've got a better five shot proof out of the magazine. So I'm gonna load up the 8.44 grains into the magazine, see how it does. Let me go cool off quickly, gang. All right, so boom, gang. Camera's down there rolling. I'm gonna give it two. just to let the barrel know that we're using different pellets now. And then, five shots at the third dot now, gang. See how it groups. First shot. I don't know what it is with FX magazines, but the impact, it works well. The streamline, it works well. 
Decent, so boom, gang. Let's go take a look at these groups quick, see how the dreamline shoots. All right, gang, let's take a look at these groups quickly. I need you to ignore these things here. I was trying to just write and make a note of what I did and with what, but I realised late that I done it upside down, you get me? So forget about that. Let's get into it. So boom. If you don't know, this is a 5p or a 5 pence piece. And this is 18 millimetres in diameter. So I'm going to be using this to just cover the gropes to give you a rough show of how big they are. So boom, first group, that was done with the 10.34 grains and I was loading it into the barrel myself, so boom. All right, we can get four under there easy, but we can't get the five. We can get four either, either way actually, but we just can't get five, so four is good. The next one now, this one was done with 10.34 grains with the magazine basically and you can see covers all five shots easy you might not be able to see properly because I did put tape here to put these two together but if I flip it around you can see one flyer and the rest of them just went into one hole there oh can cover all shots with the 5p 10.34 grains with the magazine these magazines that fx are they're kind of they're getting better you get me All right, and the last one was done with the 8.44 grain air arms fields in the magazine as well and you can see boom five shots and the 5p the magazine works quite well so yeah obviously I could have probably got them type uh, but I didn't do no pellet test you get me no mini pellet test or nothing so but the 10.34 grades my favorite Danish job you get me so boom gang let me close out this video quickly all right so boom gang that is it for me and dreamline and the impact and the wildcat. <laughs> Big up, Dan. Thank you for letting me borrow this rifle. Remember, gang, it's available in surplus stores, a used rifle for a discounted price. If anyone gets it, message me so we can meet up and fight. So, boom, gang, that is it, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore beast. Gang, see you in the next one. Hey. Obo, obo. Abuse that shit, then pass it to Kozo. We just circled your block. That's four cars deep in the C2 borrow. And I've lost the plot. Numerous times my blade got cuddled. And if I catch me up, I'll juice that you and me.